we changed our fuel filter and fuel pump out <laughs> because our car would start and then immediately shut off. All right, tools we used to do this job was a couple of small flathead screwdrivers, a 12 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket, 8 millimeter socket. The 8 millimeter was on a quarter inch drive and the other two was on 3 8 drives. And then we had a couple of extensions just in case you needed them and we had a power drill just to make the pulling the 8 millimeter screws a little bit quicker but you don't have that. You will also need a bucket. Yes. Some fuel pump. 15 out, which is right here. Take it out. Okay, you gotta take that out first. Yeah, then start your car and let it pull all the fuel that's already in the line. Let it use that so there's no pressure on the lines. Before you dis... You have to take the fuse out, then start, start your car. Off. Let it die. Let it die. And then that relieves the fuel pressure in the line. And that relieves the fuel pressure in the line. Yeah. Okay. How loose am I supposed to do That's this? That's it. So now you have to take out these two bolts. They're the bolts that hold the bottom cushion in. And it is down behind the seat if you have the seat folded down. And it's down back behind there. Um, there we go. Two of those, one on each side. You can either fold the seat over and get it from the back or you can do it this way which is just putting your socket in there and finding the bolt and undoing it between here. Ready? Mm -hmm. Alright, so after you get the screws out of the back, the front part of the seat, if you grab firmly and raise, it will pop up. Just like that. After you get the seat out, have to remove this outer cover, and that's your cables and your cords going to your your fuel pump itself up under your back seat. All right, begin. Oh. So how am I supposed to do that? Just go up under it. With the... Like this? Yeah. Do we have to buy another seal? Nope. And just pop it out. Yep. You good? Mm-hmm. So you loosen it up and then you just pull it off. Yep. All it is is this rubber membrane. Oh, okay. I was scared I was going to break something. Push this rubber piece out. You push that down? Yeah, because this is right down to that. And that will get, get it out of your way for a minute. Oh, okay. Boy, that's dirty. Yeah. There, it's access to the bottom of the car right here. Oh, okay. Okay. So then we're going to probably take two people, but I'm going to start here. There's a little tab right here. There's a screwdriver. So you push this tab down. And then that one comes off. This one has a tab right here. Okay. Push it in. It comes off, and that is oh. your wires. Okay, and that's that thing. Yep. So now it completely gets it out of the way. Yeah. All right. So then. Wait a minute. So after you remove all the electrical, and the electrical will swing out of your way uh, with that plate. We're going to release the fuel lines, main fuel, and I don't know where my finger is. 
return. This is the return? Yes. This is the main fuel? Yep. Okay. So you're going to take that orange cap and raise it up with your fingers. Oh, it just raises? Mm hmm Okay. Now, since it's dirty, I am going to take some wipes and clean the area before we get started or do anything else. Okay, so now we remove all the fuel lines. You lift the orange thing up, and then there's two tabs on each side. They're little blue tabs. You gotta push them in at the same time, and then slide it backwards. Put it back in. So it still had pressure behind still had it. Pressure. When you take this off, before you take it off, have something ready. Yeah, have a cup or something ready because there'll still be a little bit of fuel, fuel in the line. So, um, have something ready so the fuel can go in there. It's not a lot, but it'll shoot out really fast. Yeah. Um, okay. Do you want to point it in the cup? That one? Yeah. Probably. How do you take this one out? Same. The black thing up top? Yeah, and there's one on the bottom. Oh, and there's one in the bottom? Mm -hmm. Okay, that one didn't. Okay. So it's just so that first it pulled, one. It pulled all the fuel from the supply. Uh huh. But that was the return line, so there was still a fuel in the return line. Okay. Okay. All right. Next step is take all these out. Okay. And you see how we're moving. It's not like four spots. Huh? Just break them all free and I'll show you a quicker way. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Just a couple times. Jump, bye bye. So after you get the bolts out. You take the rim out. Yep. And when you put it back on, there's a groove here and a groove here. And that groove is here and here. Okay. So it goes on one certain way. Okay. You have to get the bucket out. Hey, our gas is clean. So before you pull this out of the car, you have to have a bucket ready to hurry up and put it in because it has fuel in it. Oh, it definitely has fuel in it. Okay, so. Flat head screwdriver. With, because I have no idea, is I'm going to take the end of the hose off right here. Lift the lever, this comes up. I didn't see it. Lever. It just comes off of this. Okay. So then, this how it just fits into a little groove right here. And, if I'm correct, might be wrong, but if I'm correct, you take these pieces up and then slide down. And we might want to do it over the bucket, just in case. Okay, so look here. There's another hose clamped on right here. Okay. So you have to pull this out, these little clips. Mm -hmm. And then, okay, so let's release the fuel pump wires. Here, 
use the fuel pump wires. I'm going to try this differently. I'm going to try to uh, push this one and take this one out and leave it on back of the fuel pump. Okay. So, that's okay. Get this, this hose off. There's the two clamps that hold that on. And that's just a shell. Okay. okay. So we are working on this piece. What is that? That's that what they call the sock. The sock is like a, another internal filter. And carefully move these little yellow pieces and your sock comes off. Do you clean that? If it's extremely dirty you can, but it's not, it's not bad. It's not just not sitting around. <laughs> and no, it's not bad. It's okay. So. fuel pump it is here okay that's everything your fuel pump is right there fuel filter oh but it's got this extra little piece on it so I need to open up the new one and find out what part needs to be changed new filter and we're gonna match it up the yes, same. Yeah, it all looks the same. Of course, if you go to Kia, Kia is going to tell you to buy the whole part. For five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. This little piece. These little pieces. There's little clips here, and this piece comes off. Oh. Okay. There's your filter, and as you can tell, ours hasn't been done in a while. See how dark. See how light. Where? What are you talking about? The color. See how dark that is? Oh, I see. That's how dirty it is. Oh, look on the inside. Can you see on the inside? How black it is? On the walls? Mm. Can you see that? Wait a yeah, I guess. You don't see how dark this is right here? I mean, it's dark in there, but I look don't... Look how light this one is. Let me see the new one. Oh, yeah, I see that difference. Yeah, big difference. This valve has to come out. I think it's just got an O ring on it, so you can be careful. Pressure regulator valve. Okay. Gotta make sure not ruin that. Yes, exactly. And then it'll go back up into your new one. Boop, like that. Okay. Then take your kind of burnt a little bit. New fuel pump. You have to remove the wires if it doesn't come with the wire. We want to match it up. Make sure it's the same. It looks like this little piece comes off and has to be 
Head on to the new one. Like bit it looks like. This I was fighting with earlier. There we go. Just tight. Been in there for a lot of years. You have to clean any of these first before putting no. in the new one? No, they're lubricated. Oh, okay. So we take. There's a little circle uh -huh, right there. here, yeah. and that's where this goes. That's where that. That's where that'll hook onto. Make sure there's no extra pieces. Nope. Any pieces up in there? Yep. Oh, ring. I am hooked. Does it come with a new O ring? Do not see a new building. So we have to fish this one out. There it is. New ring. It's going to go on here, and then increase the wire, which you can take the wire off prior to if you want to. And it is in, and that is your fuel pump and fuel filter mix. No cap comes off, and then. We place it back down. No, no. Got to put the cap back on. Oh yeah. Which it hooks on to these little pieces. Hooks on there. Get those out of the way. And hooks on there. Got it. Mm-hmm. This way. So we want to put this hose back on here it was so hard to get off in the first place. Can you see it? Mm -mm. Right here. Oh, okay. That's just... You know that. That one's locked on. That one's locked on. It's gonna line up just right. If it doesn't line up just right, it won't go on there. Man, your face. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to tear up nothing in the process. Now it's on. Click, 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 click. Okay, now they're all on. Now I have to maneuver the the sock. In there. there we go. Now this piece is straightened back out. Still hooked up. Everything should be ready to go. Let's go get it reinstalled. Yeah. All right. So I want to make sure what the ring is in place. Oh, okay. Make sure that's in place. Because yeah. that seals around here. That seals around where? Right here. Oh, okay. So when you put this back in, put your 
fuel level in. See what I'm saying? What's the fuel level? Right there. Where? Oh, okay. That tells you how much fuel we got in there. Put it in. Put the whole thing down in there. And then it slides over. Now, you're going to have some resistance. When you, it's like a spring. And you're going to have that little bit of resistance when you go to put the ring back on. Automatically. And when it goes in, m most of the time, it'll find its own position. But, the ring can give me a couple of boats to start with. Remember about the two little round things? Oh, yeah. So. See, they're on the round things. See it? One there? Yeah. And one's up under my hand. Yeah. There we go. Now I need a couple of screws. Just to hold this down. And I'm not, not using any torque behind it. So just gently just tighten it, but no torque. Yeah, snugging it just a little bit. Okay, so now we'll go. The rest of them? Yep. Okay, so now you're gonna put the rest of the bolts in. Yeah. And then I'll actually switch to the hand so I can feel how much torque is needed. Is, yeah, is being put on them. That way I'm not over torquing and stretching it. Or stripping it. And they don't need they don't need a lot. They're little bitty screws. Okay. So that part's done. Then you clip the big hose back on. Then take the small hose. Make sure that's lifted up. Clip it back on. Clip that back down. It's in. It's in. So then, what you want to do is you want to hook up your wires and then attempt to start your car. Okay. That way, you don't have to take all this back off if you don't need to. So now we go put the fuse back in and hook up the battery. So we need to put the fuse back in the spot. And hook the battery. Is there a certain way the fuse has to face? No. Okay. Fuse just go both ways. Okay. Give it a second to prime the fuel pump. It may bog a little bit until it's fully primed. So how many times do you have to start it to make sure? Um, that's it. Just once? Yeah. And then take it for a drive after you completely fastened up. Oh, okay. So now we're going to put everything back together. Yeah. 
So you want to cut this open to see how dirty it is. Yes. Your fuel filter in a 2014 Kia Forte is supposed to be changed out every 60,000 miles. And ha what number are we on? We are at 163,000 miles and this was the first time we ever changed our fuel filter out. That's why we went ahead and put a new fuel pump in it also. So, we got the fuel filter from Rock Auto. And the fuel filter number, or part number, Fuel filter, that's the fuel filter. Yeah, fuel filter. Yeah, 043-3057. Is there a phone number on here? 1-800-ROCK-OUT. 1-800-ROCK-OUT. Oh, it's just 1-800-ROCK-OUT? Yeah, it's all online. Oh, okay. We got our fuel pump from O'Reilly's. Because Kia said you can't, you can't change them. Yes. When we called the Kia dealership, they told us we had to buy the fuel pump and fuel filter. The, the whole assembly. The whole assembly for $500. But at Rock Auto, the fuel filter was $25. $25, 25 $26 and at O'Reilly's the fuel pump was a hundred and what? Uh, $79. No, no, a hundred and... $129 or 120 Yeah, $130 for the fuel pump. But you can get them as low as 45 bucks. Yeah. They just don't have much of a guarantee or a warranty on them. Okay, so when the fuel filter is new. It's a tan, like a, an off-white color. And that is ours. The yellow is the saw. The gas in there took the paint off of it. See, it was that color. Yeah. That. It's got a focus. Oh, that tan color? Yeah, right there. That's the color it was. I love this so much. Those little light pieces? That's the color the filter was. Okay, wait, wait, don't move it. Okay, so the light tan pieces is how it looked when it was new. Yeah.